Hi, my name is Celia Chu. I'm with Cobalt Banker Town & Country. I'm here with my property inspector and we're doing an inspection today on Saturday at 1 p.m. and it's right before Thanksgiving and you know it's a really a good time to buy no matter when but I'd like to introduce you to Ian. This is Ian from 4th South Inspection Services and I have used him quite a few times and want to say something? Sure. Ian? Uh, well my name is Ian. Um, I I am the owner and principal inspector of Fort South Inspection Services. Uh, we've been, uh, this company's been around for three years. I've been in the industry for 10 years uh, and we're doing multiple inspections every year. We're doing between three and 400 every year now. Okay, well, you know, I wanted to dispel some of the um, questions that people have in the industry about physical inspection. I have a list of questions in an interview format with him. So Ian, tell me, what sets you apart from other home inspectors? Did an early career provide you with a helpful inspection experience? Yeah, um, my, my father was a general contractor and so he would basically design and build his own homes and then sell them off. So he's a very creative and hands-on person. Um, he had my brother and I out on the job since we were little kids. You know, whether it's digging trenches, uh, framing walls, doing roofing, plumbing, electrical. Uh, we, we learn from a very young age how everything is put together and how things are done. Um, I worked professionally for the family construction company for several years through high school and outside of high school. And uh, my brother actually took over the business. He still does that. Um, from then, uh, after that, I went into uh, school and training for construction management. So I went through a college level program that um, basically taught us all the codes and, and how to manage construction projects. Uh, so those, the construction experience along with the, the, the schooling has made a huge difference. Um, when I started in the industry in 2009, uh, I didn't have any experience with actual inspections, but right. my transition was very easy because it's all things that I've looked at or have done myself. And so I, 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 was, I was able to identify what, what the issues were based on my experience, even without really very much formal inspection training at the time. Wow, that's really impressive. That's a lot of on-the-job training. And what more can you ask for is from your dad? In, in, starting from a very young age. So basically, you, I can say, to put down on your resume, you've been doing it since high school. At least, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a long time. That's very <laughs> impressive. So let me ask you another question. I, um, some of the, my um, clients do ask. If you discover an issue that requires repair or replacement, do you recommend vendors? Uh, we do have a list of vendors that we recommend. Um, it's mainly based on people that I've had first-hand experience with. We don't just send random, you know, referrals. Uh, it's, it's usually people that I've either spoken with personally uh, or that have attended a class that they've taught or, uh, or that I've seen working on the job and I, I, I know that they do good work. And so I, I would only refer somebody that I would be comfortable, you know, using myself. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, most of the time we have uh, additional inspection services that we refer. Uh, but we do have some specific contractors and some specific tradespeople that, that uh, can do certain work, yeah. Uh, we try to be kind of careful referring uh, just because we don't want to, you know, look like there's any kind of conflict of interest. We don't get any kickbacks or anything from anybody. Mm -hmm. It's just genuinely people that we have seen work in the past and, mm -hmm. and they, they do good work, so. Yeah. So, can you name some of the type of vendor? Is it plumbing? Is it flooring? What are some of the vendors that, in general, uh, we have a couple roofing vendors, we have some general contractors, and they, those guys usually were able to take care of multiple things. Right. Uh, we do have some more uh, specialty type of uh, contractors that we do have a, a geotechnical engineer that we refer for properties that have, you know, that kind of issue, usually like hillside properties up in, uh -huh. up in the uh, LA Hills in particular. Um, so we, we do have a few, you know, specific people, and then as far as um, uh, the inspection side, we do have a, a few uh, sewer line inspection companies mm -hmm. that we refer that, mm -hmm. that do really good work, uh, chimney, same thing, and, and some termite inspections that we work with, or inspectors that we work with as well. Well, that's good. That's also really nice to know too, because that's added um, vendors to my list as well. So let me ask you, um, if your recommendations are higher, do you benefit financially? 
I don't. I, yeah. No, he does not. So <laughs> no, that's we don't. Uh, yeah, and that's that's one thing that you know you, you do want to be careful about. Um, it's it's strictly um, forbidden for inspectors to do any kind of work on their own on any property they inspect. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's also not necessarily forbidden, but it's definitely uh, questionable if they get a kickback from contractors. Mm -hmm. So we we, stri we stay away from that. We don't get we don't have any kind of a deal with any of our vendors. Okay, fair enough. Now, my, my next question is, uh, do you carry errors and emission insurance, and what does it cover? Yes, we do. Um, any home inspection that, that you, you, or any company that you use, really should have some sort of uh, general liability, professional liability, and errors and emissions. So we cover, uh, we have a, a policy that covers up to one million. That's for if there was something significant that was not disclosed during the inspection and it you know, became an issue down the line, there is insurance that covers us for that. Uh, we also carry general liability insurance up uh -huh. to a million. So, you know, if, uh, let's say, if my ladder falls on somebody's car or something, you know, yeah, something, something like that, or I uh -huh. step through the ceiling, uh -huh. uh, we, have, we have insurance that also covers that kind of repair. Uh -huh. Let me ask you this funny question. Have you ever had to pay out anything? I haven't. Well, that, well Luckily, very nice. Yes. <laughs> Knock on wood. Yes. Let's see, where's that wood? <laughs> okay. Well, let me ask you another question. Have you, will you email a redacted copy of a recent home inspection? Uh, for another client, mm -hmm. a different client. Uh, mm -hmm. We can do that. Uh, we've done that in the past. We usually would consider that like a sample report. Um, we do have to get uh, permission. Uh, our, our contract is, is such that the inspection report belongs to the client mm -hmm. and we would have to get their, their uh, approval to send it out to any third party. Okay. I incidentally, I don't even get a copy of it my clients have to approve it before I even get a copy. So that's pretty um, tight, <laughs> right? Yeah, we want to make sure that it goes yeah. to, to the, to the you know, privacy wrong. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. Do you perform listing or pre-sale inspection? And if so, do you re-inspect for a buyer at the time of the sale? I do actually. We do perform uh, pre-listing inspections pretty regularly. And it seems like over the last few years, it's, it's definitely uh, becoming more of a trend. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense, really. Uh, we're, we're able to do the inspection the same as a, as a buyer's inspection would, would, would be. And it gives the seller and the, and the realtor a good idea on what might need to be fixed before they list the house or if there's anything that would come up as for, for a buyer that they can kind of get ahead of. So it definitely, it makes a lot of sense to have a pre-listing inspection. Uh, as far as, as, as doing another one for the buyer, that actually, I think that's only happened once where it just worked out to where I did the pre-listing inspection and then a buyer, a separate buyer hired me to do an inspection on the same house. Mm -hmm. It's not very common, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, we were able to do that if, if it works out that way. Mm, okay. Here's another question from another viewer of mine. Can you share a story about an inspection where your experience and observation skill uncover a problem that was not visible? Uh, yes, actually, the one comes to mind. It's a recent inspection I did in Altadena, I wanna say. It's somewhere, somewhere up in the foothills around Pasadena, Altadena area. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a raised foundation home, and the home itself was in beautiful condition. I mean, it was totally remodeled. It was an older home, but it was totally remodeled. It was in really, really good condition. Um, and so, you know, most of the things have been replaced. It was re-roofed, had new electrical, new plumbing, heating and AC. I mean, they've done a lot of work. Um, and while we're walking through the home, I noticed mm -hmm. that the flooring was a little out of level in certain areas. Uh, you know, that's to be expected to some extent, but you know, mm -hmm. it was kind of a red flag. And so when I got underneath the house, we actually came across some pretty significant cracking to the foundation. The cracking was um, horizontal cracking in your concrete stem wall underneath there, and that's mm -hmm. usually a, a pretty serious problem. Um, your concrete stem walls in the crawl space actually act not only as vertical load bearing, it's also acting as a retaining wall. So it's keeping the soil from outside of the home in, or out, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, and so horizontal cracking is more of a concern, and, and it was cracked all the way around the foundation, a continuous crack. Um, it ended up being, um, I believe, somewhere just shy of $100,000 to redo the foundation. They had to completely, it was a wow. big deal. Wow, so did they buy it? <laughs> I don't recall, I think they got some bids. I don't remember uh -huh. if they actually closed on it. Yeah, actually, a hundred thousand is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. That's it's just out. I mean, and it was, and it yeah. needed to happen as soon as possible. Right, right, right. So those are decisions that have to be made, and that's so important to have a fiscal inspection. So one more question before we conclude: um, 
Who at your company performs the physical inspection? Well, at this time, it's just me. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a small company. It's um, uh -huh. I, I'm, I'm the inspector, and my wife is the office manager. So she handles mm -hmm. scheduling. Uh, she handles uh, client referrals and all the, all of that. Um, we are hiring, I will say. So okay. if you guys are <laughs> yeah, interested, if anyone's interested, we are definitely hiring. Uh -huh. uh, we will need to get one or two inspectors in. We're hoping uh, in 2020 and, and start building the company. Right now, I'm. I'm tired by the end of the year, you know, doing 400 inspections, yeah. a long year. So, yeah, uh, yeah we're really looking to, uh, to expand and to get people in there that, uh -huh. that are willing to work hard and, and uh, to learn the do trade. the work. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you know, any other questions? Before we conclude, I just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Absolutely. And um, count your many blessings. And um, if you guys have any questions about real estate or physical inspections, please feel free to give me a call anytime or you can call Ian. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm happy to help out. Uh, happy to help answer any questions or, or really anything. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what I'm here for. So that's what I do. Um, yeah. yeah, and then one thing too, uh, just, to, just to piggyback off of what we are just talking about, um, this is a great industry for somebody, even if you don't have any particular experience, a lot of this can be learned with hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. um, that, that made a big difference for me too, is seeing these little things that I didn't do day to day. Um, you know, it, it's a great industry because it's very flexible, it's a necessary industry, and, it, yeah. and it's, you're, you're helping people. That's my favorite part, is you're, you're kind of, mm -hmm. you know, you, you relate to people and then you're, you're, you're doing something meaningful. So yeah, it's, it's a great industry. Okay. Well, thank you everyone. And this concludes this episode of Physical Inspections. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>